where can people get more information about this, what you're talking about, by the way? Um, is there an SME site or something? Uh, Absolutely, there's there an SME portal. Uh, and they're on the commission website? On the commission website, just type in entrepreneurship education in Google and you'll probably be one of the first five hits it will be. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, okay. comments on this? The, the, the suggestion is connecting with other efforts uh, underway. Yeah, back there. Um, yes, I uh, thank you very much for all the content here. Uh, great suggestions. I think from the viewpoint of a potential startup, I think what we're lacking here is more of the, like, the spirit and the mentorship. So why can't the EIT get people like Richard Branson uh, to really kind of spearhead this, this, this big thing and, and also attract new people that are maybe getting out of high school, going into university to think about this potential uh, prospective option of um, doing a startup later on. So mentorship and then uh, again like creating spaces. Okay. Another comment? Yes. Uh, yeah, I uh, agree with first of all what uh, he says and uh, just to add on to the discussion about collaborating with other networks in Europe and so on and also what you mentioned in the beginning about building a brand for the EIT. Uh, it's, it's strange actually that let's say uh, Stanford Garage Ventures in the US has a huge brand. It's like the logo is recognized and uh, the EIT has a power of collaboration of hundreds of European universities and so on. Of course, it's, a, uh, it's more new, but it can really work on building this brand image that everyone you uh, talk with in Europe about the EIT, they know what the EIT is. Uh, my second suggestion is, uh, well, uh, I'm representing the Erasmus Mundus uh, alumni network over here. Uh, this year, we kind of made uh, project applications for from 7,000 students of this network. Uh, so they submitted their uh, ideas, and six were selected as part of a scheme called Realize It. The idea is to help the students realize their ideas. Uh, so out of the six which have been selected this year, we were thinking if there is an opportunity to collaborate with the EIT to get some research done in the different European partner universities. And at the end of the year, we want to see all these six student projects come out successful. So if, if, you, uh, if you have any suggestions on how, you know, uh, you you EIT, haven't, haven't joined the kicks or something like that? No, uh, the, I think the kicks is different. This, uh, uh, where Erasmus Mundus alumni network comes in, Erasmus Mundus is another program, yeah. and then we have uh, something called the Oceans Network. And with the Realize It project, we have combined the, the combined uh, expertise of both these networks. And so we help uh, each project idea build a team of around five people. So we selected like 30 people this year to uh, help realize okay. the project. And uh, what I was thinking also, there may be some opportunity to do some research with, along with the EIP to help uh, some of these projects come through. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, let's, is it a comment? Go ahead. Yes. Oh, you, I mean, all right, come back to the slogan. We're, you know, we're gonna write this before we leave. <laughs> Daria? Yes. Okay. She'll figure out the prize after she hears it. <laughs> right, the room fans ready. Um, so I, I'm just listening to what everyone's saying. I, I came up with this. Empowering talent to realize ambitious societal goals. And just a very quick. Say it. Empowering talent to realize ambitious societal goals. Empowering in the sense of knowledge, network, and money. Um, talent in different fields and, and at various levels. Realize in the sense that it's about impact Ambitions in the sense that it's something that might not be achievable in the current system itself without additional help of the EIT. Okay. And it's in the end about the societal goals that we're trying to solve. Okay, well, thank you. I, I, another good effort there. Uh, if somebody has more in the course of the uh, discussion? 
let us know. Uh, let's, let's, however, move, let's take another idea. Um, uh, who would like to go next? Yeah? You see it. Oh, hold on. Let's let, let, let see it. Go ahead. Well, my point is related to the last intervention. It's about collaboration. Because um, there is a lot of potential for collaboration across the teams. And I think it should be exploited. I realized yesterday that there was a lot of uh, passion talking about you know, the climate kit and not rising enough and to put you know, energy. I think it would be good to have the same sense of belonging to, to the AP community. And in order to achieve this global AP community, facilitating and incentivizing the interaction between people, students, talent working in the, across the teams could, could be a good way forward. But they say, how can this work practically? How do you do it? Practically, um, I think uh, in 2014, when there will be more money available for the AP for sure, perhaps the way forward would be to put aside a small amount of money, call it innovative funds, and ask on the basis of a bottom-up approach, students, kids to come with good ideas of cooperation across teams. So purely bottom-up approach could be mobility schemes, could be professional development schemes, could be, uh, I don't know, you are a better place to, to think could be about a multidisciplinary it. project? I, I think it should be based on realizing societal challenges, as it has just been said now. Because there are natural overlaps between the teams, and this is actually a very good thing, that you, the, you try to combine the strengths of the teams together and come up with proposals, building on these uh, thematic uh, synergies across teams. Okay. So among the, the members of the kids here, how many, just raise your hand, how many of you feel a need to uh, talk with people in the other kids? Oh, uh, why? A few reasons why. What, do you, what would you get from that? <coughs> yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm in the climate kick, and a lot of our projects are actually to do with energy because energy makes up such a large portion of our carbon emissions, so it seems crazy not to talk to people from, say, the Inno Energy Kick, since they, that's their specialization, there's surely a lot of overlap there, and it, equally with the ICT as well, um, uh, if, you, um, if you remember Hedgehog Energy, a lot of their, um, a lot of their stuff is, uh, they've got some ICT in there, so, I mean, everything's, because for the, for the Climate Kick, it's so multidisciplinary that, um, it would be bonkers not to. Sorry, but, to sorry, but wouldn't, wouldn't it be easier if, say, hedgehog, wouldn't it be easier? If, I think they're, they're an imperial, right? <laughs> no, well. No. <laughs> sorry, okay. That's all right. But wouldn't it be easier to simply go to the local IT department across the corridor that may or may not be involved in the kit? Why specific, elaborate the reason why specifically talk to the other kit? some partners, but not the same specialized network of energy industry partners. Uh -huh. And we'll talk to them for exactly that reason. Because Climate Kick supports developing the idea because of the climate kick potential, but energy, you know, energy has the partner network to actually realize it. Okay, all right. Another, what, another anybody else have a different reason why talk to other kids? Yeah. Hello. Uh, I can actually share an experience. Uh, uh, at the end of um, the last spring, I, I found out about the, the, the Climate Kick Summer School. I found it extremely interesting. Uh, however, it was only for people in partner universities for, for, for that particular day. So I tried to inquire to see if there was a possibility as a, as a uh, Inno Energy student to participate in that summer school. And I was told that it wasn't possible. So that for me would have been very interesting. I think I could have been able to, to engage in some potential ventures or projects with students from that kick. So in that sense, I think there needs to be more, uh, yeah. yeah. You, wait, you mean asked and were told you couldn't? Yes. Oh! <laughs> um, anybody want to comment on that? So, I don't want to put anybody on the spot, I just want to say. Oh, 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 oh please do. <laughs> yeah, yes, comment back there. Since I'm on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> 
if this, uh, so in our pilot phase, the program was open to anyone, then this year we first send us to our partner universities to allow us to really track the students for one year. And as of next year, the summer school opens up again. So there, there will be chance. I'm very sorry that you hit the one year. Ah, uh, so down. reapply. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so cross kick collaboration. Any concrete suggestions from you as to how that could happen? There was already a few from Lucia. Uh, money is, of course, always an incentive. Any other ways of doing it? Silence. A what? And, uh, and what's the purpose of finding who else could help you? In a sense, yeah, like how does this interconnect and how does maybe EIT can help to in you know, energy gate or vice versa? Because, yeah, like when we are as, as entrepreneurs, we say we develop this idea in climate kit, but then somehow your idea actually hits the ICT and you're like, okay, what's next? Where do I go? How do I address that? Is there any kind of, uh, do you know, is, uh, Daria, is there any kind of a database where people in different kicks can find each other and what they're doing yet? No, not yet. I think it is. Okay, is there a, a plan for one? Or?
Suggestion is that there be more ways to meet <coughs> and communicate yes. in order to inspire each other. And to provide the reality check. Sorry to say, but I would like to. Well, I think only the market provides the reality check. Yes, but uh, I think you can. When you can't pay the bills. Yes, yeah. because uh, market will provide you this kind of hard landing. I mean, you might not get up after this landing, to be honest. But uh, you have a means to provide a bit of more soft, uh, soft landing. By, for example, start financial aids or, 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 start, or helping you to look for business angels and you know that kind of things. Anything that makes the coldest experience more okay. real. Okay. Any comments on this? No. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, Daria. I've come to you last. 